we've got uh, a new number one mayor, a new number one trader uh, through two days. Tung T uh, is our new number one first place on Mac Hill's team, and uh, he's in the lead. He made a change yesterday. How about this, traders? Previous rank on day one, 950. Changes 949 uh, places up to number one. Cool. So uh, just believe in yourself. You know, big, big move, consistent. Look at the number of tickets. Did it with 11 tickets like we talked about. Uh, a great, great day there. Uh, Anwar hanging in there, our day number one leader. 29 tickets yesterday on day number two. Uh, just fell one spot. Uh, not too far behind, $346 behind. Not how, bad how much does all. did Anwar now, had yesterday? How much was Anwar it? Anwar was, uh, I think, he was up like uh, 20 to 20,000, I think, yesterday. So added another couple I'm, thousand. I'm trying if you, uh, to remember if it was 16 or up or 26. Thousand. Did he lo lose a few thousands? 26. It was 26. He was 26. 26,000 up. Yep. So he yep. Yep. lost a few thousands. Yep, lost a few thousand coming down. And, uh, now you know what's interesting, Mayor, and for the rest of the uh, rest of the traders, we have a trader on here, and I want to pay uh, pay special homage to Boris Agyar. Uh Boris is down here in 17th place. You can see him right here on Ethan's team. Um, took, was previously 41, now up to 17. Mayor Boris was one of the first people to win our demo challenge. You know the demo challenge oh, that we had? Cool, cool. And Boris Boris won his account on the demo challenge, and now he's proving his skills again in the uh, in the trading challenge. So hats off to you, Boris, doing a great job for us and uh, for yourself in the, uh, uh, in the competition. So great job to Boris. Congratulations to those. Tung, congratulations, congratulations to you. Pay special attention, traders. We got Eric taking 96 tickets yesterday, but the majority of these traders, and you're going to see it in the next slide, are trading very proficiently inside that, you know, between that 10 and 30, 10 and 25 number of tickets for the uh, for the day. Okay, we're going to break this down for you and lay down a few other things here. And here you can see now the teams. You can see Captain Corey here, Rachel, Bert, William, William Anderson, and What's interesting is is this column here, this average ticket, Mary you can see about 29, 30 tickets or so on the average of the, the winning teams so far. And uh, and then also the disqualified percentage, you can see, you know, a little bit slimmer on Corey's team and on Rachel's team, uh, also Bert. You can see some of the other teams up towards 20% of dif disqualification, and we're going to review those and talk about what's been happening there. So yesterday, uh, there were, uh, what, a total of 264 people eliminated just yesterday from the competition. And out of those 264, 242 of those were the daily loss limit. So they maxed out with what they could have lost in the day yesterday. Just 22 of them held overnight positions, which we know we can't do. And uh, it's been unbelievable. So daily loss limit, uh, 511 total, and uh, overnight positions, 74 total. Let, let's break it down. Our first place, our first place uh, right now with tongue, right? I can see, I can see tongue is, is writing down that he's out. I mean, tongue, I, I, what do you mean like out? Do you mean like you maxed your loss, you're out of the game, out of the competition? Is that from this morning? He oh, his max loss. loss. Oh, goodness. <laughs> wow. Oh, well. Wow. Oh. That was <laughs> a short period at the top. <laughs> oh, sorry yeah. to hear. What? At least you could say, Tongue, that you were in first place on day number two, right? Keep this so, picture, Tongue. Traded, uh, you know, one of the... One of the yeah. Exactly. One of the things that that Tung did yesterday, we're trading, you know, 2,000 and 4,000 shares, and uh, did it mainly with the stock S O L Y. And I've got some great information about S O L Y. Um, and uh, he made a.
very good comeback yesterday um, about with the SOLY trade and then CPRI just traded uh, two different stocks uh, to take the first place total. And then today, as you can see, uh, Tung has said that he's, uh, he's maxed out his loss and is out of, the turn, out of it. Anwar, our first place leader on day number one, making his profits all on solely on the first day, SOLY. Yesterday, uh, traded three symbols, Kara, SOLY, and WDAY. In fact, WDAY and Kara were stocks that, uh, that I know I traded yesterday. So probably following a little bit of our picks in the room, put, took both long and short positions and um, you know, traded solely up until the middle of the day. So um, you know, that was great, taking small profits along the way. Anwar was, uh, was really doing well yesterday. You know, our lead competitor on day number one and uh, SOLY taking a little bite out of Anwar for day number two. And then our third place winner, our third place position right now, uh, which, is, uh, which is Shane. Shane had a good day yesterday trading Goose, SOLY, TVIX, and YY. Shorted Goose three times, three times yesterday. Uh, shorted Goose and came out, uh, came out a winner. Uh, 1,000, 2,000 shares, uh, covered 5,000 shares, made a good profit, and then shorted Goose again, so into that stock twice and then took solely both long and short yesterday, which was, um, which was crazy, which was a great, turned out to be a great trade. So What, what I'm wondering Mayor, here is about like uh, number said. five, Scott, Eric, with 96 yeah. tickets, seriously? I mean, obviously he's doing well, but 96 tickets, oh my God. It's a lot of trading, right? Now, a listen, uh, I, I'm seeing here a pattern uh, of people who are like, you know, Anwar did great first day, lost money on the second day. It doesn't mean much. I mean, he could still come back. Uh, Tang is out of the competition, getting maximizing, maximizing his loss. So I'm, I'm seeing a pattern that so far, and I didn't look at uh, all of the people's, all of the traders, you know patterns but i'm seeing a pattern here who's well those who would trade calmly smaller size smaller uh you know less tickets uh, are more likely in a few days to top the list that's what i'm seeing right now and i don't know if it's going to happen but it, if it will happen that would be the right thing to see yeah, you know what's interesting, Mayor. We talked about the turtle and uh, turtle and the hare um, yesterday, and I got to tell you, it's going to be like you and I talked about. It's going to be that consistent trader, that consistent turtle that goes in day after day. And, and, and Mayor, listen to this. You were you were spot on on day number one. Traders, you've got to listen to this this stat here. The total, Mayor, the total P and L of our competition that that. Uh, on solely S O L Y on that stock alone, all of the traders in the competition, you know what their P and L was? No idea. Minus six hundred, minus six hundred and twenty-six thousand seven eighty-one. Oh my God! Over a half a million dollars. Over a half a million dollars on S O L Y. And that's um, an account. Unbelievable. Roster. Now I'll give you another stat. I'll give you another stat. The biggest win on this uh, on this symbol was Tung. Tung's biggest win on this symbol was 28,906. And now Tung is, 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 is out. So like Mayor said the other day, you know, you may have, and this is true traders for trading, you're going to have some great success on trading some wild stocks, right? But over time, over time, they're going to come up and bite you if you employ that strategy. And this is a prime, prime example. Okay. Um, so we had 585 people eliminated. 196 of those people were just because of S O L Y. S O L Y. So 200 people, Mayor, 200 people are eliminated because of one stock. 200 people, just one one stock. Okay. So li listen, traders, 
Forty percent of the competitors, forty percent of the competitors that traded S O L Y ended ended up getting themselves disqualified. Forty percent of the people that traded that stock got disqualified from the competition. And I'm not talking about losing money, I'm talking about getting themselves disqualified. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. And we said yesterday, we said yesterday it's very difficult um, to keep this strategy up for a long time. And each day we see more people uh, that trade the variety of the symbols on the leaderboard move up instead of taking massive quantities in one stock, rolling the dice, and being gamblers. And as you know, if you've been with us for all of these years, we talk about it all the time. Both Mayor and I talk about it. We teach it. We mentor about it. We have one-on-one -on -one sessions about it. There is a difference, a big difference between being an amateur and just starting off and being a professional trader. I see a few comments. I see a few comments exactly here. Scott, I see a few comments here mm -hmm. about uh, this uh, $3,500 max loss. Um, you know, traders, um, if, if, if there was, a, I mean, we're trying to make this competition as fair as possible. And we're looking for traders. We're not looking for gamblers. We're looking for traders who can consistently trade the markets. And one of the ways to look and to find or to spot traders is by is by eliminating the uh, you know the chance that uh, a person would make a lot of money by just uh, gambling, and it you may like it or may not like the thirty five hundred dollars maximum stop loss, um, but it is something that will help us determine who's a better trader. And there's, I don't know if there are other ways to do that, but uh, definitely this is one of them. There's yeah, uh, exactly. picks are coming exactly. up, like uh, Amir is, uh, guys is putting up picks. Uh, so although Scott and I are concentrating on this one, you've got some picks coming up. Yeah, I, I would just we can conclude it here. I, I would just I would just tell you this that that uh, as Mayor said and as we say all the time. You know, the difference between that pro and that amateur is, you know, the amateurs often gamble. The first thing that they do when they get their account is let me maximize my, let me maximize the account. Let me, let me, when I go in to buy a, a, a stock, I'm going to maximize the number of shares, you know, 5,000, 10,000 shares. And again, you just, I, I'm going to say this one time and we're going to conclude consistency is going to win this, uh, uh, win the competition. I hope, Scott. I hope. going to win the competition. I hope. I mean, I think fir so. fir I first think two so. days, we are already seeing some people who are first in the list and are out now. So, I, or, or lower place. So, I, I don't know about uh, the rest, but um, it seems to me like there's a good chance that those who are consistent in trading, not taking too much risk, not, um, not uh, you know, averaging down their losses or trading stocks like Soli and things like that, that uh, they are more likely to finish up. So we'll see about that. Hopefully, that's true. Yeah, and, and like we said before, you know Boris Aguiar, uh, who's in seventeenth place, Mayor, as you can see up here, he was thirteen thousand dollars out of first place. Well, guess what? First place is no longer there, right? So um, tongue is is moved on, and and now everybody's going to move up if you're consistent today. And traders again. Um, if you're if you're in a losing position right now, or if you have a few uh, few dollars in the green, don't give up. You got a great chance to win this. We're only this is only day number three, only day number three. So what what, what we're really saying here, Scott, is that those of you who are down the list right now, you don't see yourself on the first uh, on the first page of the first of the twenty winners. Things could dramatically change here. I mean, I don't know about the rest of the uh, the whole 20 traders. I mean, theoretically speaking, they could all be doing the same kind of mistake. So I wouldn't be surprised if whatever you're seeing here on the first page, the whole 20 names, and we should keep watching this. I mean, we could find out that in a week from now, this whole list is gone. This whole list is gone. So if you're just doing even if you're losing money right now even if you're making small uh, small amount of money if you're just you know hanging on there 
you could end up being first. Seriously, you could. Just probably the best way to find out is to keep trading as you should without, uh, without gambling your way through the, the list. Yeah, very true. Very, very true. Okay, so I think that sums up uh, day number uh, two. Uh, there are some um, uh, intraday information coming out. Look at our social media. Um, you will see some intraday information about the leaderboard. End of the day, you will see the end. You will see the uh, an updated list at the end of the day too. But that wouldn't be the final list because it's before commissions and before other things that could change the. Uh, the picture. So uh, the final daily results are only being announced here in the room, which will happen tomorrow too. Just I think tomorrow we're going, probably going to do it a bit later, like uh, 10 30 today. We did it at 10. So um, I've got a ton of things to do and I'm done for the day traders. Um, thank you very much for being with me today here. Uh, Scott and the rest of the analysts is going to keep on um, trading with you today. Thank you very much. Thank you for participating in this wonderful competition, which gets more and more interesting in time. I think I'm learning myself a few things about uh, the way to hang on there in the first place and uh, so on. So, yeah, very true. Thanks, traders. I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye. Have a great evening, my friend. Yep. Thank you. Enjoy. Enjoy.